we need to talk about attack ads. Because we've narrowed down the race to only two candidates, we're going to be seeing a lot more pointed attack ads this month. I don't think there's anything intrinsically wrong with attack ads. If you're running for elected office and your opponent has a track record that's the opposite of what they say they're gonna do, and the media doesn't seem to be talking about it, call them out. My issue with attack ads is when you start fear-mongering, lying, or misrepresenting. That's not okay. But I've made attack ads and did them with zero remorse because what our opponents were doing were harmful and wrong. People deserve to know and it felt like the press wasn't doing a good enough job. Call them out. Yes, I would love to live in a world where we don't need attack ads, but that would also mean that we only have candidates who don't pretend to be something that they're not. I'm all for being idealistic, but we can't afford to be naive. Tony Preckwinkle dropped the first attack out of the runoff several days ago. Let's take a look and see if it's fair. Lori Lightfoot talks a big game, but what's her real story? Spooky. A wealthy corporate lawyer, Lightfoot was reprimanded for professional misconduct. True, but doesn't tell the complete story. I spent too much time explaining the entire story in my bio video of her, so check it out. While she did get reprimanded as a federal attorney, the attorney general opened an internal investigation and cleared her of any wrongdoings. Even the judge who originally reprimanded her acknowledged her glowing testimonials about her character and competence. If you watch the video I made on Lori, you'll see that the case doesn't really speak to her character or her views on any policy. From all I can tell, Lori is an incredibly competent lawyer. So while this hit is technically true, it's reaching. Uh, uh, almost. But let's keep going. She defended a Wall Street bank being sued for racial discrimination. This is true. Lori was on a team of lawyers that represented Merrill Lynch against a group of employees that argued that bonuses were awarded unfairly and discriminated against women and black employees. Merrill Lynch won the case, so maybe the employees weren't being discriminated against after all? But this assumes that the court systems are completely fair and don't favor the wealthy and the privileged. I'll leave it up to you. Do you think it's a fair hit? Throw it down in the comments. Let's keep going and worked for Republican politicians trying to protect their power. Yeah, she did. In 1991 and 2010, she worked with Republicans to redraw congressional districts. She said she was motivated to do so to promote Latino representation. One could also make the argument that the districts were gerrymandered to favor the Democratic Party, but yeah, there were Republican clients. It's a fair hit, but personally it doesn't matter a ton to me, especially when compared to the last thing the ad mentions. And after using her influence to gain a powerful appointment, she overruled investigators to justify police shootings. This is almost entirely true. When Lori was appointed to be the chief administrator of the Office of Professional Standards, she reversed the findings of her predecessor and previous investigators regarding a police shooting. While they said the shooting was unjustified, she changed it and said that it was. Today, Lori says that she can't comment on the case until she looks at case files, but those aren't easily available. The only thing I'd quibble with is the narrator saying she overruled investigators to justify police shootings. Shootings in the plural. I haven't been able to find other instances of this. Besides the first point, which I think is a bit misleading, I don't think the ad reaches too much, and it cites sources, which I appreciate. Obviously, this ad isn't entirely who Lori is. She has many legitimate accomplishments, and I explained them in her bio video. I wouldn't make this video unless I was fairly certain that Lori will also release an attack ad. And when she does, I promise I'll dissect it. Unfortunately, with the stakes of this mayoral race, it kind of feels inevitable. There's plenty of baggage that comes with both candidates. It'll be your decision to figure out which one weighs less to you. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope it was helpful to help you understand a little bit better uh, the first attack ad of the runoff. If this is something that you enjoyed, uh, please share this video and consider donating to my Patreon. This web series is entirely funded by you, the audience, and I'm working on this full time, so every dollar goes a really long way. Also a heads up, I'm going to be doing a live stream after the first televised mayoral debate on Thursday, so keep your Thursday evening free. It'll probably start at around 7.30. Until next time.